So my name is Priscilla Duran, and today I'm talking about um, Border Patrol. So in the world we live in today, many prejudices, prejudices are viewed among different races, genders, all of that. And this is because the president encourages this type of behavior for being the same way. So it's seen that people can talk how they want, do whatever they want to, you know, minorities, and this especially goes to law enforcement. So many in the U.S., many families that live here came from Mexico, and they came to have a better life for their children, for them. They are the backbone of the U.S. Uh, economy. They do jobs many of us do not want to do, and many of them are in fear of being seen by the police or people who will call, you know, border patrol. So today I would like to explain how Border Patrol uses extreme force to exploit their power upon families and individuals that live here peacefully or try to cross over the U.S. So I personally do connect to the story because most of my family is from Mexico and they have migrated here along with my parents. Um, a lot of my family do not have documents. So they also are always living in fear of being next to police, someone telling them something, um, being, you know, in trouble that someone calls border patrol, and I've had I have had some family that did get deported, and they got deported using the force that, that um, border patrol uses. So to show how border patrol brutality is, I'll like to talk about how they separated the children from their families, how the officers murdered in cold blood, and how this affects many of the people here and mostly in Mexico. So border patrol see immigrants as beneath them and doing unspeakable acts towards them. The officers don't really stop at anything to see how they are or to, they do, they do this to see separation. So immigrant children got separated from their parents forcefully at the border not too long ago and had to stay with their parents for months in some living conditions. The children were not allowed to legally stay for more than 47 days and yet they were there for months. This shows how they were living. Some slept in cages, they slept in little mats. They didn't have um, blankets, so they would use tinfoil. They were separated from their parents, sometimes they would see them. Um, so yeah. So um, here's a statistic. More than 10,000 migrant children, including um, children who crossed the border alone, are kept in OR facilities. All existing facilities are filling up. The shelter was filled 95% full. So to allow children to be separated longer from their parents in these offices, um, many of the border patrol had to use horrible tactics. So they would use, they would tell their parents they were signing something that would take children away, but they're really signing custody rights. So they not only separate dependent children, border patrol, but they also kill immigrants on Mexican soil. Border patrol, to not allow power to go to the head, yet this just happens and use force on immigrants and people here. So something that happened was that Lonnie Soros, an agent, fired his gun um, across the U.S.-Mexico um, border fence and killed Jose Antonio approximately 10 times he shot him, and the bullets entered his back. Another thing was that a, kill, a kid yelled help, but instead of getting help, um, Hernandez was shot against the Tijuana-San Diego border and this showed extreme force from the officers who had impunity to not fear what they did. So this was his funeral. It was showed how deeply affected they were. Finally, the big scare of seeing undocumented individuals in the U.S. Um, are deeply affected due to ICE and Border Patrol both here in Mexico. The public health from the U.S. government have seen how how much the Border Patrol do not care for their, you know, individuals who reside there, how they um, are not really hygienic or just, you know, allowing them to have their civil rights. So a policy briefs that current concerns of the border, including ways of health professionals, are implicated in human rights violations, and they provide the U.S. government for health systems to protect the rights and health of immigrants. So an, um, an estimate is that in the past 20 years, 
More than 60,000 immigrants globally have died while crossing borders, many of whom were never found or identified. So this is a big scare because um, here in Mexico, they have many murals that show how many have been killed by border patrol. And well, more than 60,000 were killed, no names, never have found them. So this really does show how it affects them there. And for, for public health and more people from the law enforcement to go see what's going on at border patrol really does show that no one really has control over them. Um, so in conclusion, uh, I just want to say that border patrol do use extreme brutality and force amongst people who live here, immigrants there, for no reason whatsoever, only that they were afraid or that they have the power exploited to their head that, shows, that allows them to think, oh, I'm above them, I can do this. Um, the brutal force and inhumane actions towards peaceful people really make you wonder why you can't allow people to have this power go to their head without consequences. Jonah, some comments. Um, John, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought she had a great topic. Uh, she spoke very clearly and looked up from when she was speaking. I think she kind of read her speech a little. Maybe try not reading it and just memorizing it. And uh, she had some great visuals. All right, well, you start by telling us your name and your topic, so you've kind of skipped the goal that we had for the attention device and the introduction. I think that's a little bit problematic. Um, you make a, a general claim about the Border Patrol and their uh, attitudes toward uh, immigrants and the way they're seeing things, and that's an assertion. You need some data on this, some kind of information to support this particular point. I don't really see a... Um, a very clear thesis statement. I know what the subject area is, but the long-term goal needs to be a little bit sharper. There is a bit of a preview. Uh, they separate children, they murder people, and they are, uh, you know, I guess uncaring about uh, what it is that they're doing. They feel like they're above things. All right, well, the separating children thing, uh, the image that you have of the kids who are detained at the border, um, obviously, you need to kind of give this a context. These are people crossing the border. It's not like they're going into neighborhoods and taking kids out of Anaheim and sending them down to some, uh, like you said, ORR center. Um, it's about uh, people who are immigrating. So let's give the context there so we know what's going on. Uh, I you know, do want to point out it's not uh, tin foil that they're using. Those those are, you know. They may not be very appealing kinds of blankets, but they are uh, blankets that are used in emergency kits. So it's not like they just got out the aluminum foil and started wrapping the kids like they were some leftover sandwich someplace, you know, <laughs> to keep them warm. Uh, there, there is a procedure there. It, it might not be the best choice in those situations. I think that's a, a, a reasonable criticism to make about that. Um, the, the conditions under which the children are separated from their parents is not really very clearly explained. In essence, you say the Border Patrol the agents lie to them, get the parents to sign a custody thing, and then move on. It's like they've taken possession of the kids and they're not going to return them to the parents. I don't know why you believe this is true. I don't have a source citation that's given to me on this. Uh, this is all asserted, so you need to give us some data on this. Um, you, know, the, you mentioned that there are 10,000 kids in uh, uh, custody currently, and I, you know, I should get a source citation on that. Um, the second section where they are murdered, you've got two examples that you talk about where you name particular people and in incidents and situations. You do want to give us some citations on that material. I think that that would be helpful. However, the notion that the Border Patrol has murdered 60,000 people who are crossing the border that sounds to me like you've conflated some information about people who have died crossing the border with people who are being murdered by the Border Patrol. 
Uh, there are a lot of places where people cross, and uh, there are dangers in crossing the desert uh, without adequate water preparation. People disappear, and I, what'd you say? Twenty years was the estimate. Uh, sixty thousand people have disappeared. The idea that the border patrol has murdered sixty thousand people as they crossed the border and buried them someplace in the desert sounds to me like it's a, a big. Um, conspiracy theory that's going on here that there needs to be more proof of. Uh, on the two cases that you mentioned, for instance, the, it seems like those two cases would be good dramatic examples that where you could show either there weren't any repercussions or there were repercussions. We don't get any detail or context about those. Um, like I said, and I think you're kind of conflating the argument on that uh, uh, on, on the number of people who died crossing the border with uh, them being murdered. That's not exactly the same. The picture that you show of the mural where people who, who have been murdered by the Border Patrol, um, that's, an, that's an interesting effect that certainly people perceive that as being true. Again, we need some information that shows that those kinds of uh, killings have taken place. And then on the um, last section where you basically say the Border Patrol treats them as uh, subhuman and doesn't have any care or interest on that, that's a complete assertion on your part and there's no data on that at all. Uh, there's no explanation about what the Border Patrol agents are responsible to, what laws uh, they're, they're um, uh, operating under, what uh, criticisms uh, are made by them by public agencies or organizations. This is all kind of... Uh, you know, a random set of assertions that I think is a little bit problematic. It's as problematic as somebody saying, well, all of the illegal immigrants are murderers and rapists coming across the border. Both of those are assertions, and we need some proof on these kinds of things, and I think that's missing from your speech. All right, thank you.